Hello, I'm Pla Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is today's tarot for all signs for Monday the 1st of April 2024. Pinch and a punch with the first day of the month. Are you going to be playing any tricks on anybody today? I don't usually do that. <laughs> So I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there, I give one question readings. You can begin for one of those one question readings at any time on my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. You can book in at any time because I do all the pre-book readings right at the start of the next live show. And then I send you the link to the replay so you don't need to be able to make it live. Alternatively, come live, you can book while I'm live too. I also offer private readings from my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. And I get those out within 48 hours if you're ordering them. Now, there's two ways in which to win one of those private readings with me every single month. The first way is by being a subscriber to my channel, clicking like on this video, and then leaving a comment. That'll get you one entry in. Do that as many times as you like on all my videos on the channel, including the shorts. Um, the second way is by checking out my Pick a Card Reads. If you purchase one of the deeper dives, those extended readings that go with the Pick a Card Reads, that'll get you an entry into the second prize draw so good luck with winning those now what's in the energies for everybody today we've got the richness within something that's very valuable within ourselves this is about now this could be about abundance it could be a, an abundance reading today because it's the richness within when we figure out a way to share it with the world or with as many people as possible it brings that abundance in there's a paradox there's something off here about abundance, okay? Reflect. Okay. Um, what I'm getting from this is there's a paradox about abundance, meaning if you're, you're sharing your gifts, but perhaps you're sharing your gifts with people that aren't able to give back to you or, or, or don't respond. <clears throat> Um, sometimes we can be putting our energy into energy sinks, um, or trying to help out those that are unable to give back. Now, if that is the case, if you find yourself in that position, there's a bit of a paradox there. So you're giving your gifts out to the world, but the world in which you serve is not one that can respond to you. They don't have the means to respond to you. Then that, I don't know, that seems to be... Like you should run it as a charity then. You know what I mean? It's like other people should be funding you to do that. Yeah, five of wands, you need to reach higher. So some of you are reaching too low um, for your abundance. So you're you're reaching to those that can't give back to you. So it's a, a one-sided kind of a thing. Now, that, and that could be just pitching yourself too low or it could be... Um, yeah, going for the wrong kind of jobs. It could be, oh, there was something else that I was picking up on. It'll come to me. We've got the Knight of Wands. There is passionate movement forward. We've got the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles can be the one with the money, um, someone that's very stable. And it could be someone that pays you a boss or something like that. They might have a bright idea for you. So you might need to listen to some advice from someone today about, Reaching higher. Sometimes it's just a self-esteem issue. You're just putting yourself amongst the wrong crowd. And so trying to appeal to wrong kinds of customers, perhaps, or something like that. Five of Wands. Why are the Five of Wands? We've got to reach higher. Muse of Inspiration. Claim what it is that you want. The world. There needs to be a change here. Okay. Uh, and it might be um, another place as well with a world card. It can sometimes indicate travel. So this Muse of Inspiration, it's the King of Wands. It's the energy of claiming what it is that you want. Um, it This reading seems to be saying there is something different that you can do in order to, to get the abundance that you want and the growth that you want. So there can be growth, but you need to reach higher. So there's something about... Um, Oh, what was that noise? I don't know. But it's put me off. <laughs> anyway, Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands? So the universe wants you to have the abundance that you want. You get, you share your gifts with the world, the richness within, and you, but you've got to pitch it at the right level and the right people. Knight of Wands, the chariot, you're pulled in two directions, page of inspiration, very ins inspired and direct communication to speak out, but pulled in two directions. So this could be a moralistic kind of a thing. I know I have that in, in my business. I want to do the right thing. 
and and I know at the moment it serves you best to not be doing the right thing, to be playing to the algorithms, to do the um, the stuff that gets attention, which isn't the right thing to do. Um, but it would certainly work better for business and that has me torn into so it could be something like that as well you're inspired to do something to directly communicate it but you're and you're passionate about it but perhaps it's not working that seems like the story of my life <laughs> inner journey is behind that as well i'm just kind of waiting for this whole so this whole thing to change you know about algorithms and stuff and it being about the the garbage really that that is promoted out there um, or or the sensational kind of a stuff. It's, um, you know, all the stuff that, that riles people up so it gets more comments. I mean, it's just not right. <laughs> it's just not right. And I, and I don't want to compromise myself, you know. Um, but yeah, it, it does um, affect business badly as a result. King of Pentacles, anyway, there's somebody here and I'm getting that they could give you some advice. King of Pentacles is doing what? Manifesting something and is out there and being seen. It doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman. Nine of Inspiration healed themselves. Oh, this could be your energy. So there could be something about you healing yourself or coming to the end of a healing journey and you've got to persist. And then, and I'm, I'm clearly getting advice from this, this character here, someone that's out there, someone that's manifesting things. So perhaps they have found that balance within themselves and have reached higher and have, have made it okay for themselves to do that. And you might want to talk to them about it. Someone with money, someone with, someone that's doing well. Mm. And there's joy behind that too. So it's someone happy with what they're doing too. So they're not selling the soul, playing the game, you know, they found a nice balance, I think. And so I think that paradox today, if you're having a conflict about abundance, I think it, um, talking to that right person, and if you don't know who I'm talking about in your life, who is who does have that balance, then um, just ask, ask the universe to show you. Ask for a sign of who it is that you can talk to. Ace of Swords, because I think they've got bright ideas, and it's got something to do, or you need to take a rest. Something to do with taking a rest, doing less, or something like that. Hmm, okay. So you might have a bright idea about doing less. This is more, um, you know, working smarter, not harder. Slow but steady, and it might require a change. Okay. Okay, so what's going on in our love lives? Tell us about our love lives, please. It's the third one. <clears throat> Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So always following your heart. Heart, intuition, not necessarily your feelings, because that can lead us astray, but doing what's right in your heart, in your love life. Um, another place as well where we might be another area of our life where we might be you know doing the right thing for ourselves and relax about it as well yeah i mean this reading it's got we've got two cards of relaxation there, and so perhaps you're trying too hard with things in your love life and perhaps in abundance too in the work career we've got effort and regret okay and if you have been making too much effort in relationships you might regret that as well because other people can take a back seat if we're too willing to do all of the work in relationships and you can get yourself in a situation where it's out of balance and you can think it's the other person that's kind of taking advantage and not making enough effort but really it's you that got it into that imbalanced situation just for some that is letting go and lack of self-worth so there's a lack of self-worth going on and someone to let go of or something to let go of in our love lives Okay, tell us more. What else is in the energies? Coins, yeah. Money will be coming to you, it says. So money wants you too. <laughs> That's nice to know. We've got a weeping willow, willow, family sorrow, and a yoke. Feeling tied down, frustrated. There is a frustrating energy with about abundance today, for sure. 
Okay, well, think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer, but this is just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of my bag and cards out of my decks for specific questions that you've got, then you can book in for one of my one question readings on my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Uh, if you want more detail or if you've got a few questions, then you can book in for one of my one, uh, not one question readings um my full private readings on my website behealing.com you can find a link for that in the description box below and also up there to get those out within 48 hours if you're ordering them now how best to deal with these energies today I've got the tower let it fall apart change something needs to change let it fall apart let it all come cr crashing down uh, it could be a day of the frustration with abundance which is the peak Something needs to change, confronting that, let it fall apart. Um, okay, so think of a yes or no answer question now and pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is yes, go for it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there, click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. I do one of these today's tarot every single day of the year and I go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show. Come along sometime. I'd love to see you in there. And I make three love picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there, right now. Watch that next if you want. I'll well, have the best day ever and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.